Hello and welcome to Slightly Impressive. Everything is different. Oh no, my name is Grifter and I am A in your cues. All right, first question comes from Singing Lockpick, which uh, you can probably tell is the winner of the weirdest name of the day contest. So good job, Mr. Lockpick or Ms. Lockpick. What is your favorite machinima that you've made and why? Okay, this is a really hard one, but um, I think the fake movie trailer that I did what was it? Fall of the Players. Fall of the Players. I should know this. Uh, that's probably my favorite just because it was really challenging to make. Um, it was different than anything I'd ever done before and I didn't know quite how it was going to work out. Like Especially with the, the movie trailer guy voice. I was really, really concerned about that. Like I don't have the deepest voice. So making my voice sound like that there's like one specific guy that started it, like started all of that, and everybody's just sort of been copying him ever since. Uh, I was worried that I wouldn't be able to pull it off, uh, and I didn't, but it's fine. I just kind of, I was just like, you know what, whatever. It's just a comedy. Who cares? It's just, it's part of the humor. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, but yeah, I really, really like the way that one came out. I was really proud of it, and. Everyone, of course, everyone's just like, you should make the movie! Like, uh, yeah, sure, I'll just stop making all other content for a year and just make that. It'll be great. No. No, it's not gonna happen, guys. At least not anytime soon. Sorry. Making a trailer that seems like it's for a real movie and making a real movie, very different things. <laughs> so, okay. Let's go on to the next question. Comes from Eleanor Moonwood, who says, What's your opinion on roleplay? And wow. I get this question a lot, and I haven't answered it because I don't I don't really have much of an answer. I'm kind of just indifferent. I you know, I haven't ever really participated in any like organized roleplay um as a social thing, but I mean I do kinda of like to get into the lore of the game. Like, especially when I'm just questing by myself or whatever, I like to kind of identify with the character, I guess, somewhat. I mean, it is an RPG, like, that's kind of, that's kind of the point. Like, WoW has kind of gotten away from that, it, like, the player base and I think even Blizzard kind of focus more on the mechanics of the game these days, especially at endgame. Um, maybe, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how true that is. Maybe that's just me. Um, but I've never really done role, like actual role play as like a social thing. I, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with it. I don't like look down on people who enjoy that. If you, you know, if it's fun for you and you you do it with your friends and it's a fun time, then cool, whatever. Uh, next question comes from Synodic, possibly Synodic, who says, "What is your fave game you have played so far?" Okay, this is a this is a difficult one. Um, there have been so many really great games that I've played lately, like, I really like Tomb Raider, uh, I really like Darksiders, I've been playing that one, I bought that from the Steam sale, um, but I think I'm gonna have to go with Bioshock, I don't know which one though, not the new one, not Bioshock Infinite, I mean, I do like that game, but, um, either one or two, I don't know, the, the first one has a better story, like, it has that moment, that I think more than any other game, it has that story moment that's just like, what? What? You cute? Just <laughs> like uh, the whole, the whole would you kindly thing. I'm not going to spoil anything. Just that's all I'm going to say. You know what I'm talking about if you play the game. Bioshock 2, I felt like had better gameplay. Like the, they kind of worked out the mechanics of the, you know, you have the plasmids and the weapons like, like Mike Tyson punch out, except not anything like that. Man, wasn't that game awesome? I'm gonna, I'm gonna change my answer. Mike Tyson, punch out. No. All right. Next question comes from Tywin Lannister himself. Wow, that's improbable, but very exciting. It says, do you like Game of Thrones? Who I like? Yes, yes. I really, really like Game of Thrones. I think it's definitely the best show on TV right now. Not the best show ever. Like nothing, nothing can really replace Firefly. They're like up here. And, like, all other TV shows are down here. Like, all the good ones. And then the rest of them don't matter. Um, Game of Thrones. You know, what I like about Game of Thrones is that I'm not even, like, a big fantasy guy. I mean, I know, obviously, WoW is a fantasy thing. But that's kind of a fluke, really. I'm not really big into the whole Dungeons & Dragons stuff. Um, but 
Game of Thrones is just such a well-written show, and it's based on such a really cool book series that uh, I'm reading the book series now, but I think what I like best about that story is that um, there's not really, like, good guys and bad guys. I mean, there's there's protagonists, and then there's villains, but, like, the protagonists all have pretty big flaws. You know, they feel like real people. And then the villains, like, they do some really horrible things, but you... You can kind of identify with them a little bit like you they show the reasons behind them because that's how that's what happens you know that's what like real people do really horrible things but usually like they have the reasons sometimes the reasons are crazy and not valid at all but they still have reasons um unless they're just a psychopath or something and then that's you know they do have those characters too so there are some straight up villains but anyway yeah i really like the show season three i haven't liked quite as much is the first two seasons. I I feel like they're kind of stalling, trying not to catch up with the books, but I don't know. They just had a lot of people like just kind of wandering aimlessly from place to place and it's, it's just like, eh, whatever. Okay, let's get let's get to it. Let's get to the good stuff. But definitely a good show. All right, enough of that. Let's go on to the next question from Percy Podcast, which uh is the runner up for the weirdest name of the day contest. It's just only really half of the name is weird. Still, a solid effort there, Mr. Podcast. He says, what do you think the best World of Warcraft expansion is, and what is the best raid? Okay, I think everybody kind of has a little bit of a soft spot, a, a special place in their heart for the expansion and the raid that they started with. And for me, that is Wrath of the Lich King and Ice Crown Citadel. So, yeah, just lots of... Lots of good memories, learning how to raid in there, and I just, I, f I feel like that was kind of like where, when WoW was on top, right? I mean, that's when they had the most subscribers. Uh, not that I think the game was necessarily better then, because I think Mist of Pandaria, like right now, this is the best the game objectively has ever been. Um, j just in terms of features and really everything. Um, there's just some things about ICC that I look back on and I'm just like, man, that was really great. I really like how the raids were structured, you know, 10-man normal was like this casual friend content that you could do. Uh, and it wasn't really seen as like serious progression rating like 10-man is now. Um, and I like that. A lot of people didn't like that. A lot, a lot of people liked that they changed that, but I don't know. I liked it better then. And also, uh, ICC was just a really cool place. Like, the Lich King storyline, I felt like was the best story arc in the Warcraft universe, and it just... It was just a cool place. It was, you know, the bosses were very different, and they were simple enough that you could just, like, bring someone into your raid and be like, okay, here's the mechanics, blah 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 blah, and you didn't have to be like, okay, you need to go read about this. Like, this is a big deal. Okay, you got 20 minutes. Everybody else go take a break. Let me explain all the nuances of this, of these, like, 12 different mechanics going on in all these five different phases. It, it wasn't like that, and I don't know. I know it's nostalgia. I know it's the rose tinted glasses. I know, but I liked it, and I miss it. It's so sad to go back there now, though. You just, like, roll right through everything, and it's like, okay, now, on this fight, she's gonna, like, cast something on somebody, he's gonna turn you into a vampire after 50 seconds, and then, and then like, you're over here explaining it, and they're like, oh, hey, we killed the boss. And like, oh. Okay, last question comes from Miranda Hugh Gray. Hugh <laughs> Gray. I don't know. Anyway, she says, show us your dog. That's, that's not a question. It's, you, well, here, we'll change it here. Show us your dog. There we go. Now it's a question and I will answer it. Oh, A, your cue. Uh, but, however, I don't, I don't have a dog. I don't know what you're talking, are you talking about my roommate? Hey, hey, Jack. <whistles> hey, buddy. Alright, uh, the people, they want to see you. The internet. Say hi. He's, a oh, okay, he's like running away. Hello. Hello. So the internet says hi. They 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 think you're a dog. I'm sorry. I know I know it hurts your feelings. It's just it's just something something you have to deal with. It's gonna be okay. Maybe someday the world will be different. People will accept you for who you are. He's like, what is going on right now? I don't even understand. Do you want to play or what? All right. Now everything's all askew. Oh oh well, it's fine. 
Alright, thank you so much for watching. If you have a question you would like to see in future Q&As, please leave that in the comment section below. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Okay, bye. Otherwise, I will see you next time. Okay, oh, oh, oh. He's like, oh, is this what you wanted? Is that... Did you want to play ball? Uh...